Hello, so we're back and this time we have a laptop to repair. This is a nice HP laptop. Hmm? Nice. What this laptop is doing, pressing the power button, it is coming on, you can see the light there, but no picture on the screen. The customer is saying, just stop booting up one day. Powers up, fun spinning, but nothing on screen, no blink, calls or beeps. Yeah. Now the most important thing is, what about the caps lock? It's working? No, it's not working. That means the system is frozen. So we can kind of know we have a hardware issue. I will say let's power off the laptop and let's uh, open and check inside. It is charging fine. It's charging with 1.8 amps. Okay, so the laptop is open. Can you spot anything here? I mean, it's looking good. Let's unplug the battery. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Remember we had this kind of job probably like a few months ago and was a RAM socket was a faulty. Let's unplug the charger and let's check the coils a little bit here. Yeah? CPU, 160 ohms. Probably here is 3.3 and 5 volts. Good. Probably here is 1.2 RAM memory. Good. I don't know what is this, but it's good. So it's looking fine. So what's the problem? Hmm? Let's plug back the, the battery. Okay, let's power on the laptop and check few voltages. I'm more interested on the RAM voltage, so the laptop is on. I'm assuming all voltages are right. Yeah, we have 1.2 volts on the RAM memory. We have 1.8 on the CPU. We have 3.3. We have 5 volts. And here we have, yeah, the PCH 1.8 volts. This is the charging coil. Yeah, 12.7. I mean, everything looks good. So what can be the problem? Why this laptop is not working? 1.2 1 1.2 2.5 All good, all good Now let's check the socket because, uh, you know You remember we had these problems before Yeah, the laptop is off. I mean, this laptop is well known for the RAM uh, problems. So let me know if you can spot anything on the RAM memory. Yeah, that's good. Usually on the sides is happening. I mean, check that pin. I'm not, you can't even see, right? Let me turn down the laptop. Check this one. Check this one. You can see it? This one is just moving. And the other pins are fine. But this one is gone. So let's solder that pin. Let me take out the RAM memory. Also, we can have broken pins here. Check that pin. Check that pin. You can see it? The second one is fine. That's fine. 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 You yeah, know, only here. 
And even last time, you remember, we had the same problem, exactly this side. Let's use a little bit of rosin. Rosin is good. So those pins are fine. You can see proper solder. Now let's solder the this. Yeah, this one. First pin it was here. Yeah? First pin. I think we are ready. What do you think? Yeah, it is solder. Let's plug the RAM memory. RAM memory is plugged. Let's press the power button. So the laptop is on. Can we have some picture? Huh? We have picture, I can't believe. Pressing the enter button. We fix it. So you see, this is a common fault. I mean, you remember that video ex was exactly those pins which are broken here. So if you have this laptop, which is a HP Pavilion 14-CE, that's what the customer is saying. If you have this laptop, it's like a must to check those uh, RAM memory pins. Yeah, and it's working fine. Perfect. Easy fault, yeah? Easy repair, easy repair, easy repair. So the laptop is all back together. Charging fine, working fine. But what do I want you to keep in mind is the way how we diagnose, you know, like roughly we diagnose the problem from the beginning. You remember? The caps lock light. Caps lock can give you like an indication where is the problem. I mean, where is the problem means if the caps lock doesn't work, you have a processing issue somewhere. Uh, it's a miscommunication with you, the CPU, chipset, even EC chip, yeah, even EC chip, yeah, yeah, BIOS, anything. Now, if the caps lock is working, then you are dealing with a different kind of master. So that means your laptop is processing, so the brain is processing the data, but it's not displaying from a, I don't know. So in order for the screen to display picture, like on this case, uh, you need what? You need backlight, yeah? And for the picture, you have a multiplexer, yeah? You have a chip which is switching uh, the, the video between the, the HDMI port. Not sure if this has a HDMI port. Yeah, it has a HDMI port. Between the HDMI port and the screen. So, yeah, probably in the next step, after you see the caps lock is working, probably the next step is to try... Uh, with an external HDMI monitor, but you know what? Even probably more than 50% of the laptop, they will not work with HDMI. Usually the HDMI uh, uh, driver is loaded after the Windows is loaded, so uh, you're not, uh, you, you, you can have a working laptop, but you are not sure, let's say your laptop is on. Maybe it's on, on, on that uh, sequence when Windows is, you know, checking for errors. On that point, you don't have a driver loaded. So uh, the HDMI output, uh, it will not be working. But yeah, just, you know, have in mind to, you know, just a rough diagnose based on the caps lock uh, light. So I'm going to stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching. 
Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.